Jim, I uh, just wanted to show my solar tracker today. Um, my redneck solar tracker made out of a Harbor Freight trailer. Uh, it's going to give me several advantages uh, to be able to track the sun, get more solar production in the winter, as well as a lot of versatility. And I've uh, set it up so that I can stack three 400 watt panels in it, strap them down, and three uh, 100 watt panels in it and strap those down and head out uh, to wherever I may be going. So that would be 1500 watts of solar ready to be uh, mounted out to bug out or wherever uh, very quickly. So that was the main purpose that I wanted to do this. One, track the solar, increase solar input to my off-grid side um, with a lot more efficiency in the winter so I can track the sun. And two, have something that was portable and mobile and to be able to uh, take it uh, to camp or bug out or whatever and quickly set up a pretty potent uh, solar system. And it works great. I did have to change the uh, valve stems yesterday. They both rotted out on the tires, but they are four ply little tires. This folds, tilts, and stands up on its end uh, if you didn't have the solar rails on it. Uh, and these are one of the best trailers uh, for homeowner stuff, in my opinion. Uh, while they are cheap, the versatility of this particular trailer, and I got them for $200 a piece. Harbor Freight did a sale on them like five years ago, and I bought two because I couldn't even buy the tires, wheels, and axles at that price. Okay, so I bought two of these. And they're really neat because they fold up in a way with wheels on the back, which I haven't put on. And you can uh, put them up against a wall in your garage. Absolutely amazing. So anyway, I had that vision and now it's going into action now because I'm changing over my uh, batteries um, and my off-grid system. I'm updating to something much newer. I got rid of all my old batteries and uh, got in some new batteries. I'll show that system on another time. But uh, you can see I just added the uh, uh, Iron Ridge rails to it, and they're inverted. So the round side, actually, if you're building a solar system, goes out, not in. But I had to do that to get an extra uh, four inches to get the smaller panels to be able to mount. The big panel would have been fine with whatever, and I would have preferred that. But these Renogy panels, they are what they are, so in order to make it work... I had to invert them and it's, uh, you know, so let me add a disclaimer to do everything I do at your own risk. Okay. I do not guarantee you any safety of any kind, please. I don't know what your aptitudes are or abilities are, but do whatever you choose to do. That's best for you. Uh, my videos are never advice of any kind. This is not an example of what to do. Those are my disclaimers. Okay. So, but anyway, you can see that uh, it's very versatile, and it's, so I can run 44 volts, 200 watts. I can run 40 volts, 400 watts, uh, 550 actually when you get the um, uh, bifacial aspect going in the winter with the snow on the ground. So it'll be reflecting up, and that's why I didn't put anything on the trailer frame itself uh, so that I can get that bifacial uh, increase of solar output in the winter. And... Uh, you know, I may change this over. Uh, I will, and I'll show you that where I put three of the big 400 watt panels on this. And I'll show you how that works and interfaces with my off grid system. So this just gives me more versatility uh, to do a lot of things and play with solar and quickly set up and tear down and change and, and run new experiments. And which is what I've wanted to do right now. I have to pull the panel out, set it up, da, 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 da. And the next thing I have to do is make, I'm making a 50 foot cable. That's all in and uh, build my own MC4 cables. If you're really into solar, I strongly suggest, never advice, but suggest you learn how to build your own MC4 cables. It saves a ton of money and you can build cables at very low cost uh, for specific needs uh, if you want. So anyway. Here's my solar tracker. I wanted to show it to you before I get it totally covered up so you can see how I did it and, uh, and all of that. And then I will uh, 
when I get it out operational, which will be today, I will do another video barring the wind and we'll see how it goes. So anyway, I hope you're doing well. Jim out.